So hello gamers and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to rank up really quickly in Phantom Forces. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and if you're a low rank and want to know a ton about this game because I have so many guides on my channel. I've literally post every single day. So please subscribe if you're new. Check if you're subscribed down below. So the first thing you're going to want to pick is your gun to actually rank up quickly with. And I'm going to be real. You're not going to want to be using a sniper rifle, a DMR, or really anything that isn't like a generic automatic rifle. And the reason for that is basically you don't do as well if you don't have a very easy to use gun. So for low ranks, I probably would recommend the Colt LMG. And the reason for that is a bunch of different things, but really just because it's super easy to use. If you're low rank, I recommend you check out the Colt LMG first and then maybe move on to something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more different. And I'll talk about guns for recommendations as you rank up later in this video. But the Colt LMG has a lot of really nice stats that makes it really, really good for actually getting more XP. And you're probably like, okay, well, it's a gun. Like, why would it give me more XP than a different gun? There are a bunch of different advanced stats that will help you in not only getting more kills, but also getting kills in a way that will actually give you more XP. Different types are build from distance, wall bang, spot bonus, headshot bonus, suppressions. All of that will give you more XP than just getting a kill. So to suppress enemies, all you have to do is shoot at them and not actually kill them. The higher your suppression on your gun is, the more likely you are to actually get a suppression enemy. That's only 25 points, but if you're not getting a kill, you might suppress an enemy and you might get 25 extra points. That's 25% more than you would by just getting a single kill. The next thing is known as wall banging. And basically, if you shoot a guy through a wall, you get 50 extra points, which is pretty good. That's 50% more than a default kill. Most LMGs have pretty good suppression because of their barrel length and blah, blah, blah. Basically, you can shoot through more walls with those larger guns and an LMG is very large. The Colt LMG doesn't have the most pen of any gun in the game or anything, but it beats out pretty much every every other gun you have to begin with except the intervention, but the intervention is its own thing. And for getting kills at range, you're going to want to have a decently accurate gun. The Colt LMG isn't the most accurate gun ever, but it's pretty accurate and it has very high velocity and it's pretty good for getting kills at longer ranges. As you can see, long shot, 50 extra points. That's pretty good. I also got an attacked position, which we'll talk about stuff like that in a little bit. But yeah, as you can see, long shot, 25 extra points. So you're going to want to use a gun that not only you can do well with, but also is capable of doing this extra stuff. That's a double kill and a wall bang. So I got 175 instead of 100. So preferably what you're going to want to actually have is a gun that you can hit headshots with, is very low recoil, and has a decent penetration depth. The problem is, let's be real, if a gun could really do all of those things really, really well, it would just kind of be the best gun in the game so you're gonna have to you know come up with a little bit of what you want from your gun and as you can see i am going for headshots here so i can get that extra little bit of xp like that was a triple and three headshots and a double so it's like i don't know 500 xp instead of 300 that's pretty good it's just a bunch of different options for getting extra xp there's a lot of different guns you can try i do recommend though that you use an automatic gun you could use the m4a1 but i should probably also talk about what guns you should be using as you continue to play the game. So at the beginning, Colt LMG is going to be very good. You could also run the AK-12 or the M4A1. The MP5K isn't really that great at all ranges, but I like the gun. It's pretty fun. But then after you get past those initial ranks, what gun should you switch to? Well, it's going to be either the AN-94 or the AS Val. Now, the Val isn't that great over range, but it just kills so effectively and it's so accurate that it's actually just going to be a really nice gun overall. The penetration on the gun is not really that great, but the thing is it reloads fast and it kills very fast. So it's going to be really Really good for getting a bunch of kills and it's also super accurate so it is great for getting some more long shot kills and getting a little bit of extra xp from that probably more accurate than the colt lmg which is funny considering it shoots quite a bit faster and it's just a 9 by 39 just weird some guns in this game just don't have recoil doesn't make any sense this gun doesn't really have that great pen either but if you just want some overall kills it's pretty good but if you really want to go for that more advanced extra xp type strategies you honestly shouldn't be using this gun but what you could use is the scar l because it has nine mil for very close range, but it also can beam at long range. But then you can use AP for pretty much no downside on this gun. This becomes one of the best guns you can possibly use for this kind of challenge because it's so easy to get kills with and it can also wall
small bang. It will always four shot. It has pretty good penetration. You can kill it range with it. You can wall bang. You can get headshots. It's an extremely versatile gun. It's not the best in close range. If you're going to be going for like closer range, I do recommend something like the Val or just use 9mm on this gun. The only problem with 9mm in this case is that it really doesn't perform that well penetration wise. So if you're going to go for those extra wall bang kills, which will give you quite a few more points, that is going to be kind of inconvenient. But honestly, if you really think about it, if you're just going to get a lot more kills on a gun, that is also really helpful. Alternatively, you could use the AUG A1. It's kind of similar to the Scar L. It has a bit more RPM. The G36 is also good. M16 A3 is also good. For LMGs, you're really going to want to use the Colt LMG and maybe the H-Bar. The H-Bar, it doesn't do that great damage and it fires kind of slow, but it has great pen, great velocity, and it absolutely beams. So if you're going for like longer range kills, this is going to kill at basically any range without too much trouble. So if you're going to want to go for the 75s, you know, with the long shots and get also a headshot kill, so get like 200 a kill. And that's actually a pretty good strategy. You're going to want to use like 223 on it. If you like the Val and you want something kind of different, the Famas F1 is also pretty nice. They're voting for tag run, which is a little bit inconvenient, but we'll see if we can get hard point because I want to talk about playing objective because hard point, not really a great game mode, in my opinion, at least. And we got tag run, but something that a lot of people don't really notice about playing the objective is that if you're on the objective and you get a kill or you kill a guy who's on or near the objective actually get a defending or attacking position bonus and a lot of people don't really think about that and that is something that a lot of people should be thinking about because having that extra xp just by being around the objective is really nice also a suppression there so you could use like a very fast firing gun and definitely get more suppressions because even if you don't get a kill you're gonna have a suppression if you're just not that great which is cool so if you want to use a high fire rate or high suppression gun even if you're not that great at getting kills that's kind of helpful also tag run if you want to get a high xp game consistently i don't recommend tag run and the reason for that is because a lot of the time you're not going to be able to actually turn in any of your tags in every kill is going to be only 25 xp which is really trash there's actually a pretty funny strategy for tag run which is interesting and i'll talk about that in just a second but if you want to get really high xp games you're going to want to be playing kill confirmed on a cqc map and always get your tags play flare dom or king of the hill and play the objective or play capture the flag and carry the flag because if you're carrying the flag and your teammates help you if they're close to you and get a kill you get bonus xp and if you get a kill you get even more bonus xp and if people save your life you get even more xp than that and if you turn in the flag you get a ton you get like 500 xp probably kill confirmed if you're in a cqc map might be the best because you overall just get a bunch of bonus xp i run actually you don't get too much more xp except for one condition and that's if you steal somebody who has like 20 kills and 20 tags and you steal their tags and turn them in then you might get some bonus xp here's the problem right you don't always find a guy in your game who's on like a 20 kill streak and take all their tags and actually deposit them because it's not gonna happen every time and as you can see four tags that was only like 230 points i only got 25 for my kills and when you really think about it i could just like get a kill or get their tags in kill confirmed and get 300 for both of those kills so actually running tags by yourself is not that helpful. You can't always rely on people to, you know, do good and get you the tags that you need to actually get a lot of XP. So that's why I don't actually recommend that you really play tag run. I'm not saying it's a bad game mode. I don't really like it that much because picking up people's tags and then walking over to here is not really the most fun gameplay for me. In TDM, you can't really get any bonus XP from playing objective, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't know why TDM is even a game mode. It's just annoying and it's harder to get higher kill games. And whenever you get TDM, you just like play the game normally and whenever you're playing like an objective based game mode a lot of people aren't even playing objective anyway so it basically is just like perma tdm i don't know it's a really weird feature about this game as you can see one enemy tag is 50 if i played kill confirmed i get 25 and then i get 100 for confirming it so 125 i guess the advantage is i can steal other people's tags but like i said that's not always going to happen but what you can do is play server browser and try to avoid tag run i'm not gonna lie Wow, this is such a good gun. I like the FAMAS a lot. I should be using this gun more. I don't know why. I actually really like Mars now. It's super good. But yeah, as you can see here, I'm not really getting a ton of XP. I have 4,032 kills. That's only getting about 120 per kill, which is not that great. Even TDM, and I was just getting wall bangs, headshots, I would actually have more XP than I'm getting. And I'm actually turning in my tags. Like, I'm not just like getting 30 kills and then not redeeming any of my tags. But something you can actually do, which is not really that helpful here, because everyone's on like a one or two two or zero kill streak. You can look at the enemy team, see a guy
guy who has, you know, if they have a 10 kill streak, they probably have a lot of tags. Not even 10. They probably have like 15, 20 tags as they're picking up tags from the people they kill usually. So it's kind of like a bounty system. If you hunt them down, you might be able to get some bonus XP, you know what I'm saying? But also hunting people in this game is kind of difficult. So yeah, that's not really that helpful. Either way, you're going to want to be playing anything that's not TDM and you'll get bonus XP. In summary, use a gun that's very consistent. Go for headshots, go for wall bangs, and use a gun that you consistently can do well with. And you'll do really good. You'll rank up really quickly, even if you're not that great. I should also mention that if you're running like a multi or a triple or something, you're going to get way more XP in this game mode than you would by default. And also, if you hit a headshot or a wall bang, let's say you hit both, you're going to get actually quadruple the XP that you get normally. Oh, and I forgot to mention, as you can see there, 87 assist count. I got 87 XP. So if you really wanted to, and this is kind of a weird strategy, if you go for an assist count as kill, like hit a guy for... Yeah, as you can see, I got 60 there instead of 25. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.